Yang baru yang kate. Kapan lu ya ini? Natal kan ya ini. Kapan lu? I came back today to this place because I was just hoping to get a confirmation how to mix that mortar which looks so nice, this reddish kind of mortar, no cement inside, no grey cement, they're adding this black powder to make it look more dark afterwards but I will be happy with that color, I don't mind that it looks brownish reddish. And actually I discovered that these workers are just doing a very interesting job because they are building inside the niche of the, the ancient powder house uh, a, a stone floor which is uh, made of square local stones which you get from the Huh? Supply in Sri Lanka. Now he was cutting this one by hand. Uh, definitely that stone is not going to look like cut recently by a machine because he was hammering many times to get that result. You can see that there are also corals. Now our days when you build a house you are not supposed to use corals anymore at all but because this is an ancient wall uh, of the fort uh, where, where all renovations must be done in a certain uh, type of uh, material usage because there is this uh, UNESCO World Heritage Authority also having a, a word to say. Anyhow, uh, local, local uh, workers are all trained to do the repa repair works on the fort according to these uh, very strict guidelines. So the, the corals which have been used by the Portuguese and the Dutch as a resource uh, to, to make their walls, they will be used here again. Now I can also tell you that these corals are actually not uh, harvested in the sea but they are laying around on the beach in front of the fort that means that there are no living corals sacrificed here. These are parts which broke off naturally from the coral reef in front of the Gala Fort and then they are washed ashore and end up having this, this, this appearance which looks a little bit like they have been rolling already among rocks for a few years. 
you see that these corals are actually just some calcium formations naturally build up with these animals or plants no animals yeah corals and uh, and and then they they will be used to to make the walls now when the walls are fully uh, renovated like here you see that there's an old part which uh, looks greenish gray but originally when the when the when the builder of the fort a few hundred years ago started to make this fort the color has been like this so it's nice to see that here we have the color after many years of being exposed to the water and rain and sunlight and natural invasion by plants and then we have this brand new uh, color brand new mortar which which is here behind this plastic wall drying because the sun is very hot today we can compare all this and and the, the, the wall itself is not visible when the wall is in good condition like this here I tell you how to edit, okay? Okay, my dear, you will be hired. I wait on the table. One second, I finish the video. So here we can see something very interesting, something exclusive. We can actually look inside into the wall built by probably the Dutch at that time. So th there, there has been never anybody looking at this wall in this, in this, in this way at this place. It's the first time because it was just done now. So you see the outer layer is that mortar and inside we have, have uh, something like rocks and I guess also somewhere should be some corals. Because the, 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 the Dutch and later the British, they, they took everything available. Uh, they took everything available close to their building place. Transportation was not easy. So here, here I see a piece of coral, actually, you can see it there. There you can see a, a part of, of coral in the wall. And considering that this is in the foundation of this building, that's definitely put there, that has been put there a long time ago. That was not recently added. Here you see a rock. I guess that's like 200, 300 years ago that they have been putting that one. Yeah. So the, the, worker, the worker is uh, knowing what he's doing. Here he is building up the, the mortar layer to have the final <coughs> pavement on the right level. Now there's missing some mortar. We will not uh, edit here. I will just leave everything in real time. So please stay. If you're interested to look at this video, it's, it's, it's going to show you how much time it actually takes to place one of these stones into the niche behind the powder house of the Dutch and later British cannon position in Gala Fort. Here we go. Well, two people are enough to do this job. Now we also see that they're actually using the original type of uh, lime mortar even in parts which are not visible later at all because th this will all be covered. You see they're even using the coral the coral in locations where nothing of them will be visible. This is all in the same way built as it used to be by the original uh, builders. They are not using any concrete cement to speed up the work. It's actually more expensive to do it this way.
you can uh, if in some later time somebody would dig there they would probably first not know uh, if this is a job done recently or a long time ago Happy is adding some more corals now. You get the final level. I used a bunch of that lime mortar for leveling that one pavement stone. Beautiful pavement stones are also existing uh, in, in, in supply stores in Sri Lanka. You can buy these and use them for your house. They are not uh, difficult to get. This is something you can uh, find uh, pretty easy, these, these square stones. Not that expensive. Water level. Water level. Water nice. Harry, good level. Mm. Ah, very nice. Better than original, I think. Now we can look at the way he's finishing. Ah, no, he's preparing a new pro for placing uh, more of these pavement stones. I guess that uh, this afternoon he's gonna finish at least that, that corner here. Coming his friend, dragging a bag. Right. Ah, more corals. Uh, let's see, very interesting what, what will be in that bag. Ah, this is brick powder, ratugal powder, mm. yeah, ratugal powder, powder. yeah, Calicatite. tile, tile proof powder. tile powder, okay, ah, who's doing that for you, stone mill, you bring to the stone mill some uh, old tiles, ah, okay, he doesn't understand, I will have to check on this, because if we want to get that nice red color, we, we, we need to get the same powder, now, oh, that will be great. So this video is going to be longer than I expected because we can actually check now and see how he's uh, mixing this, this powder. So we have here the supplier of that powder. We have a Karashmi lime powder. Karashmi lime powder. And it is coming from Sri Lanka. You see here Matale area, 325 rupees. That would be less than two euros the bag. Telephone number is there. So we can call this man if we need to have some. Oh, and this is so nice. My goodness. So here, here we are having, that is, that is a, Basically, red brick, they say uh, tile powder because we have the old tiles for the roofs in Sri Lanka before, all made from, from clay. And uh, they are grinding them. Now, I think the same color can be obtained if we just buy new red bricks, which are also handmade in Sri Lanka still, and grind these. Wonderful. So, 
I see. He, he, he decided to first deliver all the all the lime mortar to his colleague who is uh, busy creating the foundation layer for for the next row of uh, I don't know the name of these stones, but they call them black stones, Kalugal. This name, this uh, this this guy name Kalugal. Kalugal. Which area is it coming from? Is Kalugal coming from which area? Yeah, but some area. Some area have uh, many places. Gold have. Ah yes, obviously uh, gold must have had some carries of that kind of stone, otherwise it wouldn't fit here. So in the in the old days when everything was just done with uh, human power and horses or mules or elephants, they were not going uh, at the other edge of the island to get these stones. So so probably uh, they were not far away having this supply. Oh, here is now we can see one full bag of this. Okay, I hope that the professional uh, masons will forgive me that I don't know always the right words uh, to describe what they are doing here, but I am commenting also because there are many people who have no knowledge at all, and, and, and if I say nothing, it's just going to be too boring to look at this. I'm so happy because I came just in the right moment. I came just in the right moment, and uh, uh, actually, it's uh, it is uh, not only for this for, for to making a video which I came. I wanted actually to meet somebody of them to to know more about the right mix. Uh, having in mind that I want to build a bird house, uh, looking. Uh, nice and having uh, no grey cement seals but uh, this color in between the black stones Kalugal uh, wall and, and then uh, that one worker was already proposing me to to uh, in his free time to, to help me that's that's just wonderful so we're gonna we will be able to continue uh, on this uh, serial about mixing the lime mortar on another construction site in the in the next future uh -huh. he was creating a little crater in the middle of this mixture like a little volcano volcano and here here I I'm able to show you in in real time without editing, okay? So don't be in a hurry. This is the time it takes to do these things. There may be some people who really want to do it, so they need to have this video done in this way. They can rewind it and look again and again till they till they find the, the information they need. Here is this uh, worker coming back with two more buckets of water. So I see they're using these uh, uh, metal buckets, not plastic buckets because they will last much longer. The problem in Sri Lanka, which I noticed by the way, is that there are no real good plastic buckets existing. So, so the metal bucket is affordable and, and, and preferred by workers who are having a, a, the need to work long time with the same buckets. Such a bucket is not expensive, but uh, in Europe we have more and more of these plastic buckets, but they are high quality. So they're just on beside, I, I just want to tell you that plastic buckets in Sri Lanka are are uh, not usually good quality. They break. The plastic is not staying uh, flexible a long time enough. It's working this way around. So the workers, they are already used to 
my presents because I came here one or two times before showing them how they seal uh, the walls in between the stones and when I came back uh, they knew that I'm not just going to disturb them but showing something on the YouTube so they, they like they like uh, my my work and and that I'm promoting what they do so so they are very friendly towards me Now luckily these, these stones are having still a size uh, which is uh, easy to handle for one person. That's also why they have that size. I would like to ask that worker how heavy is uh, one of these stones. But he's now busy so I'll do that later. Now, now, the mortar mixing worker is uh, entering the, the last stage of his work. He's uh, now pouring water from the top. Scratching the last uh, down layer, which has not yet been well mixed. Now this could be done with a cement mixer, of course, also at home. If you have a cement mixer, you, you will get the same result. But here it's uh, just more easy to do it by hand because the place is very small and maybe the, the current is not available. So they are working this exactly as if they would be 300 years ago doing the same job. We see that the worker even has rubber boots. Now, uh, this, this is not all the time something which, uh, which will happen in, in, in Sri Lanka because there are many workers that are still working without uh, this kind of equipment, but this is their free choice. Good. He's going to continue this and now we, we can already have a look at at the progress of of this uh, work which is very interesting and easy to understand plus an eye pattern yeah, this color and mortar and all this looks so nice to somebody who likes uh, ancient uh, walls and materials. Now, nothing of this will be visible when the job is finished. It's, 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 it is all covered in the end by the stones and the seal. Okay. Oh, I missed the I missed the moment when he was putting that one. Ah, that that stone is slightly, slightly smaller than the other larger one in front. We push it a little bit towards the rope. see how he was doing that. Checking all corners, all levels. Oh. I guess he's going to lift it a little bit towards because the rainwater should not go against the wall. That's now totally level. 100% level. A little bit up, that's maybe better. I think it's okay like this. My goodness, I said something I shouldn't show, say, but that's okay. Yeah, so the water will flow away from the walls. 
वेरी गुड मैं नोट डिजाइन का पैटर्न लगा दूँ कोई बात नहीं आपने काम नहीं किया ठीक है नहीं आते ना गुड Now the motor, and let's make a closer profit. You can see inside there are some little drains and crystal and rocks which are which are exactly having the consistency which which they want to make it look uh, like the old style. Building materials, the, the the builder of the fortress have been using too. He wants to make it perfect. Asanai, hari hari, ha. Place the pole to I think half an hour will be okay for this video. Let's give them still three minutes to display their art. So about the corals, I like to tell you that uh, these are always coming more every year uh, back to the beach. If they harvest these uh, these things once in a while, there will be after a good storm there will be more coming. They are just falling apart on the reef, naturally breaking off, dying and uh, then they are washed ashore and this is uh, possible to harvest these things uh, every year. There will be again and again uh, these uh, dead coral parts. So here we see the the wall, I uh, know the, the the, the floor, the floor with the, with the lime, which is a little bit uh, darkened now because they added a black uh, carbon powder to, to make this uh, look even more old, assorted to the existing older walls. And here we see how nicely is the finish done on the edges that cloth is because of slowly drying huh mm. yeah so they they put these uh, bags made of coconut fiber or something no something what is this material here it's actually a material absorbing the the water and and it's wet and they cover the the stone floor for the time the, uh, till, till it dries, because this is still supposed to dry slowly. This uh, need uh, to close need. This close need. Yes, yes. Again, Post water. Yeah, yeah. It, water no, maybe go track. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he explained it to us again. Uh, this mortar, because we are having today 29 degrees Celsius here. Wow, that's interesting. There will be an electric cable included for some reason. I don't know. What what, what will be connected to this pipe? Uh, pipe. Uh, electricity. Ah, but just in the middle of the, the door, what is so, uh, it? Inside uh, electricity. Okay, there's maybe some light here. Who knows what? So he's, he's uh, just having a small quantity to work with. You see that you need such a little uh, gardening hose to make everything uh, wet.
till the till the mortar has been fully hardened here we see in close up in close up the ah look so the they have a water barrel now that's also something to mention this water barrel actually is available in uh, supply stores they are recycling these big plastic barrels uh, they are not expensive to buy I think such a big barrel cost uh, maybe 10 euros they cut off the top and they use it as a water reservoir for having water where it's not yet water connected Yeah, this is just so nice looking when you consider that this is all possible to be done instead of just putting ugly grey cement floors all over the places. This, this is so nice also to be done in your home to make a, a veranda. And uh, as I said, these, these uh, square stones are really easy to buy. In Sri Lanka, this is very easy to get. Huh? Have, this have in the shop, have stone shops selling these stones. So it's not a custom order at all. Okay, so let's have a look once more how this looks when there are several stones done here. Beautiful looking. Nothing is perfectly straight and that's why it looks so nice. We'll cover this again. More of the water. Maybe I can also a little bit help. And a little bit. It's okay? This Hari is okay, not too much of course, but a little bit do this. So this will help the, the mortar to dry slowly. Alright, is tutti good luck, is tutti goodbye. Goodbye. Now there's some he's coming out there. I say goodbye to you, huh? Thank you. So all this at the former powder powder storage. Bunker in Gale Fort. Let's have a look at the place so everybody understands where this is actually. We are very close to the lighthouse here. That lighthouse did not exist in the days when the fort was built. Here we see one of these locations where they will place these stones before they put it because they are having several of these niches there. We can see that they placed uh, as a concession to modernity here uh, some tubes to place electric cables because they want maybe to have some lights in there. And here's another location like this prepared. They've been digging out something here. Who knows what was here originally. Oh, and there you see the gate to go outside. There's a, there's a, how do you call this? Metal bars protecting the place from intruders because uh, because I already said that this whole building here used to be uh, a storage facility for cannon powder which is highly explosive and uh, if, it, if, if the powder would explode at least it's not in the middle of the fortress but on the side of it. Good. Good luck is duty. Goodbye. The workers said that this is the best lime to use. You prefer this one, yeah? Mm. There are differences, yeah? This one is very good. Yes. Mm. Very you, good. you like this one most. Yeah. And the other ones, what is the... They are not so good? This good. one best, yeah? Very good. Ah, okay. We really need to get this one then. Hello, madam. No, mother. I would like to buy this one. You have this one? Lime? 
You have? Okay. I need uh, five bags. You have the same brand? Okay, I come with you. Put a kina. Good one. I make a video, okay? Because this is really like a treasure hunt to find. This is not easy. How many shops have this in Gala? Only you, huh? I go to many hardware shops. Not available. Not available. So here we found the source of lime. I will add that video. Now this is the place to get it. Who would have thought? My goodness. It's a NASA company, huh? This same brand? No. This brand? No. 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 A NASA one. Harry. So this friendly young man will give me at least the, the, the option to use this one. Harry, uh, Bekeke Kirde, exactly the same price. This is Kilo, kilo Kirde. How many kilos? Yeah, Looks the same, huh? Should be the same, huh? 20 Should be more. Huh? 20. 20 kilo? Really? Looks to me a little bit less, but anyhow. Okay, Karo uh, Nakara, I will buy five bags. Five? Yes, five bags, please. So, now something which would be probably easy in some place where you know everything, but here in <coughs> Gala, where we had the, the, the chance to visit that fort, uh, where the workers are doing their work with the lime, corresponding to the, to the worksheet of uh, archaeologists and UNESCO, uh, we, we found the source to buy lime now. No hardware shop else uh, I discovered having that. Is this one? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Here it's written, lime. Rang, rang kette lime. So we're gonna use that one. Red bricks, please. Do you like I make a video about your hardware shop. This lime not easy to get. Other shop not available. Yes. Your shop famous now. Here we go. Uh, he's doing everything included in the price of the materials. He's loading. No extra charge. These items are not expensive at all, so I don't even need to ask how much this costs because it's anyhow all very, very uh, inexpensive for for what it is. Good. We let him do this because he's experienced. Hurry, hurry, I will put my feet on top, no problem. So we, we bought the lime, the lime we got here, we got the bricks and these bricks uh, we will smash actually with a hammer to get the red powder. 20. 20, okay. You still have one bag lime, one more half or not? This lime you still have one bag? Oh, you go back there?
last one huh? okay this time we are taking all because we want to be sure to have enough for a long wall yeah. all right okay now we have taken all his stock and now we go to pay is tutti register huh? cash register now we are in the hardware shop or mm. the hard your hardware shop huh mm. you have lime mm. so you see that the the Young man doing all the handling of the goods is also doing the the bill, accounting. He's multitasking here. Let's have a look how much this will cost. In this shop, there are also the usual other items any hardware shop has. But when I consider that the big hardware shops, which I had a look at they did not even know what I'm talking about when I show them the line back. So uh you know you know go to pay that. Okay this double checking the bill. This uh how much? Show me. My goodness, that is barely uh, like eleven euros for all the stuff together. So twenty red bricks and uh six or seven bags of lime for 11 euros only like uh, 11 dollars for all this now we gave him a 5000 bill which is something of a large size for this country thank you very much goodbye thank you I definitely recommend this place.